fun, coward. Do you want a fun and challenging side-scrolling shoot 'em up, but don't want to deal with a bullet hell? Then Bat Country might be the fun distraction for you. Bat Country is an enjoyable browser game made by Greg Sargent in 2011. You are a small helicopter on a rescue mission that has just entered Bat Country. You must survive against monsters and environments across four levels and save your comrades from Delta Squad. The plot is in the pun-filled dialogue that pops up at the bottom of the screen. These will be bad puns, and will make some references to other games and movies. As explained in the tutorial, the helicopter is controlled smoothly using the mouse for movement and the left click to shoot. By hitting the spacebar once, you will drop bombs, and hitting it again will detonate them. The bombs have a special gameplay mechanic, the ability to throw them using your momentum. This may take some time to get used to, especially when there isn't a lot of room to maneuver. If your movement is slow, then so is the bomb. And if you don't move, the bomb will be placed in the air. While this might seem strange when the helicopter is constantly moving forward, it works for gameplay purposes. These bombs are used to break obstacles, kill multiple enemies for points, kill enemies that you can't shoot, and are pretty much vital to surviving. You have eight hearts on each level. If you get hurt, you can recover health by touching floating hearts you find along the way. And when you get hit, you have a limited time of invincibility, where you flash until you are vulnerable again. When you die, you have the option to go to the stage select, or to start the level over again. And you will die quite a bit, if you aren't careful. The score is based on how many enemies you kill, how they are killed, how many enemies are killed in a group, and by collecting health and skulls along the way. High scores will be posted using Twitter, Facebook, or Bedhead.com server. The visuals are fantastic. I love the pixel art, the bloody pixels spraying from enemies, the tunnel vision used in level 3, the, the primary use of black, white, and reds. The aesthetic pretty much lends itself to an old school 8-bit game, but it doesn't limit itself. It makes sure that the gameplay is smooth and the art isn't held back by what old games were capable of. Plenty of heart went into the artwork and animation of this game, and that is why pixel art still works and will never get old. Please note that the game does not play in full screen. It will play in your browser window in a smaller screen. I zoomed in on the game using control scroll and recorded the game screen. The music is wonderfully done by Zircon using two of his video game remixes and one of his originals. The author of the game said that the music helped him shape the feel of the game and its aesthetic. He tried to sync the gameplay to the music, causing waves of enemies to burst in at peaks and slow down as the music does. There is an option to turn the music on and off in the pause menu, but why would you? It hinders the experience. From the opening, Run, coward! I knew that I was in for a treat. While there aren't many sound effects due to the greater emphasis on music, the ones used are satisfying and old school. Backcountry is a fun browser game that can take around 15 minutes or more to complete. It has kept me entertained each time I play and is challenging enough to make me want to do better each time. Bat Country is available on the developer's website as well as several other websites. And Zircon's music is available on his website, Newgrounds, and several other places. Both will have links to them in the description. Any feedback on this video or any other of my videos would be appreciated. If you want to see any of my previous work or my last reviews, click the links provided.